let's talk about a good mental habit. I'm thinking of um, Charlie Munger, who has been Warren Buffett's best friend for multiple years. And Charlie, I've listened to him um, earlier this year, where he calls himself a polymath as well. And he says, the biggest investment that you can make in yourself is to invest in your mind and to study human behavior. And that is what you've dedicated your life to. So what would you, um, what advice would you give to a high net worth family, or even a family that is busy building their, high, their, their wealth for the family? What is a good mental habit to, to, to learn to have? Well, I think that um, because a human value systems under, underlie behavior, uh, knowing the values, the priorities of each member of the family, um, I think is a smart move. And knowing that the decisions that they make are going to be based on whatever their values are, their highest values. Because every decision a person makes is based on what they believe will give them the greatest advantage or disadvantage, greatest reward of a risk at that moment, according to what's important to them. So if you expect them to live in your values, you're going to be aggressively betrayed. Uh, if you expect them to live in their own values, you'll be getting exactly what you expect and you won't be angry. So I call anger and aggression, blame and betrayal, criticism and challenge, despair and depression, and a desire to exit and escape the symptoms of a projection of unrealistic expectations on family members. You're going to want to, you're going to want to change them and get angry and want to avoid them. And, and that can undermine relationships and family. So knowing what the values of the, um, the employee, the, not the employees, the, the members family of members, families, sorry. knowing what those values are and knowing how to communicate in those values, what you want is I think important. So there's a great question to help. First determine what the values are and there's a value determination process that I have, as you know, on my website for that. And the next thing is to ask how specifically is what their top three values, what's most important to them, helping you fulfill what your top three values, what's most important to you. If you understand that what their values are serving yours, you'll respect them and communicate in their values more effectively. If you think that your values are right, like most of us do, and think other values are not, then you'll project onto them your values and expect them to do something and you'll create conflict. So knowing what the values, values are and knowing how to respect those values and communicate in the values, I think is essential, not only in family, but in extended family and business and society, um, children, I mean, everything. So that is a, a crucial habit to have. And I think learning and studying human behavior allows you to know how to work in society more effectively with realistic expectations. Because so many people run around with totally unrealistic expectations. Parents expect their kids to be exactly like them. Kid, kids expect their parents to be like a storybook. Um, everybody is throwing and projecting their values onto everybody else and everybody is running into these snags and, they're calling it a dysfunctional family, but it's not. It's just a lesson, and the symptoms are just feedback systems to teach them how to learn how to communicate. And um, so I think that uh, Charlie Munger, because he's so well-read, and he studied human behavior and philosophy, um, I think that helped him. And I know it, it certainly helps me because as I teach the Breakthrough Experience program where I introduce some of these principles, um, I can see the impact it has on people's lives when the door is open in their mind of what and how human behavior really works, not the fantasies. We're, as direct the Nobel Prize winner said, it's not that we know so much, we know so much that isn't so. And we fill our lives with a whole bunch of fantasies and delusions about how life's supposed to be instead of the way it is. And the magnificence of the way it is is far greater than any fantasy we'll ever impose on it. So learning how human behavior works, I think it gives everybody an advantage. Right, so as a summary, the mental good habits is you know value systems and Study human behavior. Study human behavior and, and learn the art of communicating. When you're trying to sell to somebody in business, if you don't know what their needs are and values are, you'll have a hard time selling. You won't be in business. Well, we're all selling ideas to our family. And we're selling ideas on maintaining wealth. If we don't know how to communicate their values, they're not going to buy it.